Hello y'all, this is Brushfire Wind Dragon, and welcome back to World of Warcraft. Today I'm going to do the Orc Heritage gear uh, questline. Champion, come to Grimash Hold when you are able. I have something important to discuss. Etrig. A Pimon. What is it? Um, I will do that later. We got a summon to Orgrimmar. That's the, that's the gear, heritage gear questline. Oh, Okami, I thank you for coming. We have much to talk about. Stay oh, strong. bye, Georgia. <laughs> it is strange, Okami. Despite the years of peace, I am restless. Despite having the horde of my son, I am lonely. I f you feel the same, don't you? I see it in your eyes, and in the eyes of many orcs. I feel perhaps that while we have found our way on Azeroth, we have lost our way as orcs. Come with me. I wish to speak with an old friend about these troubles, and I would like you by my side. Okay. When I think of the ways we've lost, I think... Of the Koshar. Twice each year, the clans came together, but that tradition died with Granor. I shared my desire to see it return with Saurfang long before the Fourth War. This is no time for dead traditions, he said. Mm, he may have been right then. Oh, thank Perhaps you, Kasha. It is finally time for it to live again. To Altrak Valley, I guess. <laughs> uh, you have arrived with Etrig to the Frostwolf lands. You should follow him to your audience with Drekthar. Drekthar is ahead. What is this? New Draenor? Oh no, this is Alterac Valley. Agra? Etrig. We have come with the children to see Drekthar. Say hello, Riza. Oh. She is still shy. Well, yeah, I've got a demon next to me. <laughs> no need to worry, young Narak. When you complete your own rigor, your path will reveal itself. Did you become a shaman after your Amrigor father? I did not complete the Amrigor. Then how did you know your path? I, um, oh, Agra and Etrig, what brings you here? <laughs> Excuse me, I shifted my chair. Drakthar, okay. Tell me, what do you see? We Frostwolves haven't had many visitors in years. Now we have so many and all at once. My day has been blessed. What brings you in Etrig? Excuse me, Etrig wishes to discuss bringing back the Kosharg. Drakthar expression, Drakthar's expression changes, suddenly reminded of something long forgotten. I saw this moment long ago, Okami. Today will define the future of our people. Do an old orc a favor, hmm? Take my totems and place them around the room. The element should be present for what comes next. Spirits watch over you. I fear 
that our people have lost the old ways. It has been long since old traditions were set aside. I wish to see the return of the Koshar. You are right. It has been long. Too long. Many orcs no longer feel they belong to a clan. If I may, we could offer more than just a reunion. The Omrigor tradition has never been enough in my eyes, and many did not have the chance to attempt it. I suggest a new rite of passage, one that teaches not just of the hunt, but of what it means to be an orc, an Omgora, a rite of honor, a rite for all orcs of age, including you, Goel. Yes! My friend, I asked you here for a reason. You are everything an orc should aspire to be. An example for others to follow. You should be the first to complete this new rite. That is an honor. But one I wish to see you prove yourself worthy of. Will you accept my challenge, champion? I warn you, ancient as I am, I still wield the power of the elements. Greetings, young one. Eutrek has placed his faith on you. In you, will you prove yourself worthy of this honor? And I accept your challenge. Face the might of the frost wolves and the strength of the elements. Oh, the hippie boys! I don't want to kill them. <laughs> Boys. Doros, Drakan, you did well. But I am not yet finished. What are you? Elements, hear my call. How is he standing Show up in his wheelchair? That makes more sense. And Mezcras can... Well, I guess he's not going to. <laughs>
amazing. Ha! <laughs> you are worthy indeed. But these old bones won't make it to Kalimdor. Another will have to preside over the Kosharg. If I am to complete the rite, I cannot lead the... Not you, Agralan. Me? Your strength speaks for itself. You are more than ready, Farseer. A title long overdue. I... I am honored. That's awesome, Agra. Loktar. Everything has been decided then. Go with my family to Orgrimmar to prepare for your right. Ytrig and I will gather the clans and meet you in Duratar. Here, take my hearthstone. It will take you to the Broken Tusk. I will see you soon with the assembled clans. Together, Thank you, Thrall. We are strong. Fix real quick. Ah, I know. Speak your mind. That was meant. This was meant to be a quiet family visit with Drekthar and perhaps a conversation with Durak about his future. Instead, we have set off on a path that will affect the Orcish people as a whole. Do not misunderstand me. I think this is the best course of action. It is just surprisingly how quickly it happened. I am to be an overseer. Uh, I am to be a farseer. There is much for us to do. We had best get to it. Go with honor. The Kosh Kosharg will be held in Razor Hill. Goel and Edrig are gathering the clans as we speak. We will have to part ways for now. You must begin mentally preparing yourself for the Amgara, the Rite of Honor. It is my task to make sure it is a worthy challenge, even f for you. I will call our Windriders to carry my family to the Kosharg. Koshar, yeah, you may travel with them or meet us there. Oh. My friend, I have much to attend to before the Koshar. If you would not mind, perhaps you could take Durak and Riza to Razor Hill. Yeah, I don't mind watching kids. I am kids. certain Durak has much to say to you. Mother? <laughs> I will see you at the Koshar, my friend. Uh, it, I no, I've been calling her Okami, and originally I had just named her Okam, but I was questing with mom one day, and she just got so confused and kept calling this character Okami, and I just thought I just liked that. The wyvern patiently waits its rider. Will you fly to Razor Hill with Durak and Reze? Uh, yes. Come on, kids. Okay, you got your own. That's good. The new rite of passage. Are you excited? I would be. Drekthar said I'll know my path when I go through it myself. That I shouldn't worry. But I'm not stupid. Everyone expects me to be a shaman like my parents. What if the spirits don't call to me? What if I don't want to be a shaman? What then? Other things will call to you, kiddo. If I'm honest. I hope that watching you complete this rite will spark something in me. Hope so, too. Maybe you'll show me where I should go. <laughs> uh, I... No pressure, though. <laughs> ah, I don't know if you want to be a warlock, though. We're here. I'll watch Riza. You should go find my mother. Oh, Riza, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Speak your mind. Agra has changed into ceremonial garb and paint. She looks at you sternly, but briefly flashes a kind smile. She is now officiating your right. Hail, hail, Okami Singai. The clans have been called to the Kosharg and have gathered to witness your Amgara. Are you ready to begin? I am ready. I, Farseer 
near Agralan of the Frost Wolves. Called to the clans. Are they assembled? The clans have assembled. <laughs> we answer the call. I call to our ancestors. May they bless this gathering of old and new. The first Kosharg of Azeroth has begun. And with this gathering, a new rite of passage. The Omgora. This champion has earned the honor of being the first to attempt it. Let the spirits guide you, champion. May you walk with honor. Oh. Doing the thing. May the spirits watch over you. Okay. There we go. I don't know why it does that. Your Omgara has begun. May the spirits guide you to victory. Go the Omgora. A rite of honor. Earned by three blessings. Of the clan, of the land, and of the ancestors. When all three have been earned, you will understand what it means to be an orc. May the spirits guide you to success in your Amgara. The blessing of the clan. Watch over you. To earn the blessing of the clan, a young orc must learn that the clan is only as strong as its members. Prove, prove your strength and worth to the living orcs. Since you were not born into a clan, you must first choose a clan to champion and be accepted by the clan's chieftain. The chieftains have gathered in the barracks. Join a clan and complete the task given to you. Go on. The clans come together anew. Choose a clan to champion in your Amgora. May the spirits watch over you. To earn the blessing of the land, a young Mork must learn respect for the spirits that dwell alongside us. If we do not live in balance with the elements in life around us, it can lead to calamity. I will call to the spirits, and they will guide us to where your aid is needed. It's up to you to complete the task before you. Go with honor. Spirits of the land, hear my call. Guide this orc to one who most needs our aid. Thunder Ridge. That is where your trial begins. Ancestors watch over you. Uh, did the thing again. I don't know why it does that. Nope. Oh, I talked to somebody. Okay. The blessing of our ancestors is meant to teach young orcs that are living, that the living owe everything to those who came before. We must honor the ancestors, seek their wisdom, and live up to their expectations. Your task is to craft an offering worthy of the honored dead, and worthy of being the centerpiece at the offering stone of the first Kosharg, Kosharg of Azeroth. You must put all of your energy into this construction, or it will not be enough. Cook Torka will guide you. The ancestors will be watching. May the Mother, may I accompany the champion on this part of their Angora? As you wish, Dora. Oh. Do your best to stay out of the way. Of course I will. <laughs> Why well, like all the neat looking animals? <laughs> okay. What are you doing hiding over here? Oh. <laughs> So the big hero comes to court took a cook Torka for help, eh? Fine, but you're gonna have to do most of the work yourself. I can guide you in crafting your offering to the ancestors, but you will need two things. First, you need to know the basics. A Rugi here can teach you how to cook if you don't already know. Second, I need my old cookbook. We're going to make something truly special, a fusion of old Draenor and Azeroth. And I'm going to need it for Rez, friends. Go fetch my book from the inn and we can get started. Your place. Book is in the inn? Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to do any reading, but that's cool. Ah. Uh, the Grim Axe is a here. Awesome. I'll 
look over here. <laughs> oh, you found it. Good work. Spoons and forks. Did you find my book? It's somewhere inside the inn. Go forth to victory. Ah, here we are. It may not look like much, but this old thing made it through the dark portal. It's a family heirloom from before the horde. Unusual for an orc, I know. My great-grandmother, Cook Barasha, collected recipes from all the clans at East Kasharg. As I understand it, she didn't trust anyone else to get it right, so she wrote it all down. We have stories of her awesome stubbornness. Enough for menisking. Time to get cooking. Hope you're ready. We have some work ahead of us. Straight. And here is a recipe for the traditional feast left for the ancestors at the Kashark by the clans. We're going to have to substitute some ingredients that, you know, no longer exist. But it will be for the better. We'll bring some Azeroth flair to this traditional dish. I will teach you each piece of the recipe, but it'll be up to you to gather the ingredients and actually cook it. Orc, trader, orc traders have come from all over, so you should be able to find everything you need right here in Razor Hill. Wow, we need a lot. I'll start a list. Oh, good job, Durak. Contained here are recipes from the Marini clans of Draenor, collected by Barasha the Bull, daughter of Rokara. May we forever be willing to put down both our axes and our grushes. Grudges when called to the communal table for a warm meal. With notes by Torka, son of Largosh. Largosh. Uh, sear oh, spicy seared Talbuk steak. Okay. Grilled shade salmon. Cured batani and lobstock stew. Okay. Oh, she's lit up too, so I'm guessing. Strength. I hear you're Honor. cooking a grand feast, Okami. I bet I have some things you can do. Take a look at my stock. Uh, I get ate a uh, crab, fenugreek, coconut, salmon, isle lemon, sweet salt, gorgon pepper. T okay, two coconuts. Three salt, three lemon. Okay, it looks like that's all I need from her. Be safe. Hey, Okami, we brought these freshly caught crabs for your offering. Offering. <laughs> oh no! Grab them quick before they escape. Ah! <laughs> One of these fishermen should have the salmon we need. Yes, I'm trying to catch the crabs, Durak. <laughs> ah! What are you oh, no. <sighs> May your mm. Okay, did... That must be all the crabs I need. Okay, because it's not on the list anymore. Sub -sub. S South furry salmon... Okay. For the horde. Oh. That's Nula from Garadar. She'll have Talbuk meat. Hail, Okami. I have the best and freshest meats all the way from Outland to Sill. May they aid you in your Amgara. Arguing about ale? Grown-ups are strange. Yes. Yes, they are, Darak. Don't mind us. We always get to arguing about which brews are better when we get together like this. I need a keg of ale for my offering to the ancestors. You come to the right work here on the house. Warpath Ales is honored to be part of your Amgara. No refunds. No refunds. <laughs> that guy over there looks a little shady. 
But we should see what he has for sale. Yeah. Take a look. Step right up. I have all the finest herbs and spices from Azeroth and beyond. Some of these were challenging to procure, but you'll find none finer. Alright. Ah, oh, Pandaren. Soothing spire spices. <laughs> you can't use them to cook anymore. Okay. I mean, hot spices can't either. Hey, I think it's... Oh. That's everything. Now you just need to cook it. Why have you come? Did you find everything on the list? Torka said we could probably find everything in Razor Hill. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff. A wild crab caught on the Duratar coast near the Echo Isles. Ungoro coconut. Hard outside, sweet and delicious inside, loved by gorillas. Lemons from the Echo Isles, juicy and tart. Ground peppercorns collected from trees native to Blades Edge Mountains. Fresh meat from Talbot's native to Outland. They have been imported especially for the Kosharg. Uh, Farallon Fenugreek, a herb once prized by the Laughing Skull clan, it has grown in the eco domes of another storm. South Fury salmon, freshly caught from South Fury River. Sea salt mixed with vanilla and a little sugar oh, for grilling. Small peppers grown in the jungles of Sandalar, extremely hot. And the keg of Warpath's brewing, brewing's finest ale. You have to go already. We tracked down everything on our list. What's next? Be careful out there. Now that we have everything on the list, you just have to put it all together, right? How hard could it be? Um, I'm going to let you handle it, though. I'll watch. Cooking recipes can be ha found under Orcish cuisine and classi classic cooking. <laughs> Let's talk again soon. Hold on. It's like, why are my allergies have to act up now? Hopefully that'll be better. <laughs> oh. The cooking area is this way. Alright. <laughs> I got seriously turned around. Okay. Uh, curried coconut crab. Oh, awesome. Grilled South Fury salmon. And spicy seared Talbot steak. Mm. And now I can make the entire thing. Okay. So, uh, salmon seasoned with spices and then grilled, served with lemon. Talbot steak has been dry rubbed and then cooked in searing flames. Crab stewed with exotic spices and coconut milk. And the cake. Awesome. Very good. Place your feast at the offering stone. In the southeast, may your efforts be rewarded and your offering accepted. That smells delicious. Do the dead actually eat? That is the question, isn't it? At least the orcs and the pandas have that in common. How do we know if it worked? Your offering is worthy, my friend. You have earned our blessing. They're coming May from the Shadowlands. May your actions continue to lead the orcs to honor and glory. If you would, tell Eitrig he was right. And Thrall, tell him I am heartened to have dragged him out of seclusion. And you, Durak, son of Thrall. Me? 
<laughs> you will find your path in due time. And it will lead you to greatness. I will do my best. Thank you. Go now with honor. Always. Sorry about that. <laughs> Did that really just happen? Father speaks of Sourfang often. He misses him. Oh, oh, I can talk. <coughs> I can talk to them. Oh, great. Hail, Okami Singai, the first seeker of true honor. Look how far the orcs have come. In my time, we knew only harsh survival, fleeing one set of shackles after another. I know that the memory of my sacrifice has been wielded for many causes, but I do not fault anyone for fighting for a brighter future for orcs. Everything that happened since my death has led to this moment of unity. If I have one regret, it is that I was not allowed to guide my son down a better path. Let his story be a warning to those that remain. Hail Okami, the first seeker of true honor. How everything has changed since I fell in Arathi. The orcs have come to another foreign land, but this time free of the subjugation of the humans. They have found their place among all these other races, true brothers and sisters in arms. I am truly proud of all of you. And I will be honest. I am glad Thrall has returned to wearing my armor after these his years of inner strife. He has, well, has always struggled to balance the warrior and the shaman within himself, but it seems he has finally found a place of happiness. Hail Okami, the first seeker of true honor. You and I are alike, willing to put our lives on the line to protect what manners, the orcs, the horde, Azeroth itself. And you, being the exemplar of honor and might to our people, never abandon your willingness to continue to fight t to the end. L Loktar, Loktar Ogar, I will see you again on the other side, and will look forward to, your, to the stories of your victories. What would you ask of me? Hail Kami, the first seeker of true honor. There is nothing more to say. We are proud of all you have accomplished, and will be watching over you as our people cross the threshold of a new age. Please deliver my messages to the others while you can. Ever after everything that happened, they will want to know that all is well in the Without end. Without honor, we have nothing. Hail Kami, the first seeker of true honor. You are, I am finally able to see this land called Duratar with my own eyes. I am even honored that my son chose his name for the new home of the orcs. Thank you for being his friend and ally. He has certainly had his trials, but has nevertheless found happiness in family. Run with the pack. Thromka. Hail Okami, the first seeker of true honor. You are a warlock of many virtues, bravery, and tenacity most of all. I am glad that Goel has had your aid. The return of the Kasharg represents a turning point for our people. After a long suffering, a brighter future has finally been reached. In the name of the Primus. Oh, I'm glad I went back and talked to them. Oh gosh. Did that really just happen? Father speaks of Sourfang often. He misses him. This is a strange world, Darak. I will turn all the quests in at once. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes. We originally hailed from Gorgon on Draenor and found our home in Blackrock Mountain after the invasion. <clears throat> our chieftain, Blackhand, was the first war chief of the Horde. He was cruel and hungry for power, but was overthrown by Orgrim Doomhammer, which split our clan's loyalties. 
Those of us who remain true Blackrock orcs value strength of body and purpose. Many of us are warriors and blacksmiths. Varrock Saurfang and his brother Boxagar were of the Blackrock clan. Even though both are gone, we still strive to live our lives to the standard of heroism and sacrifice. I would be honored to have you join us. Keep your weapons sharp. Bleeding Hollow. Before the time of the Horde, we lived in the wilds of the Tanan jungle. My father, Kilrog Deadeye, led most of our clan to war in Azeroth. Those who did not return to Draenor after the Second War were captured and placed in internment camps. These two halves of my clan have been separated until now. My clan is known for performing rituals that many would consider dark. We do not shy away from such tools. We know what fate has in store for us and do what we must to survive. You have performed mighty deeds and been victorious in many battles, Okami. The Bleeding Hollow would gladly accept you. <coughs> Greetings. Greetings, Okami. Uh, you wish to learn of my clan? The worst song clan hails from the plains of Nagrand on Draenor. The mighty Grimash Hellscream led the clan to Azeroth and the Horns Vanguard. Despite their defeat at the Second War, most of the clan evaded capture. They later rallied to throw outside to free those in the internment camps and build a new home. Loktar Ogar, it defines the war song. We value skill on the battle of above all and are known for our fearsome battle cries. <clears throat> Despite this, we have learned the lessons of the past. We will never again sacrifice our honor to achieve victory. The fall of Garrosh Hellscream has ensured that I would be honored to fight by your side. I did not know you were from the Warsong clan. I I fought in the Warsong offensive to honor my family's memory. My parents were Warsong and chose to bring my sister and I through the dark portal as children. Garmash did not approve of this and exiled us from his camp. The four of us wandered the wilderness, eventually finding ourselves ambushed by human soldiers in Arathi. My parents were slain, and Krenna and I were thrown in Durnhold. And then, after the camps were free, Krenna and I followed Thrall to Duratar. <clears throat> we lost contact with our relatives still in the war song. We became soldiers of the Horde, and nothing else. We quickly climbed the ranks. After Krenna's death, the Horde was all I had. After the fall of Garrosh Hellscream, my uncle Gargok reached out, wishing to make our family whole again. The war song was shattered by what Garrosh had become. I went to them in Ashenville and found a new place to belong. I eventually proved my strength to all of them through a Montgara, and now I lead the war song. I will never allow us to lose our honor again. Farewell. Hmm. Hmm. Fine. My clan were fearsome, once fearsome hunters and Rylak Riders who lived on the border of Frostfire and Gorgrond. We earned the name Dragon Maul after we were given the power to enslave the Red Dragons by Deathwing. After we lost our dragons, we grew isolated and desperate. We attempted to find new slaves, the Netherwing and the Black Dragons, but could keep neither. We eventually joined Hellscream's Horde, only to lose another leader and any scrap of honor we had left. If after hearing all of this you still wish to join the Ma Dragon Maul, we will welcome you. The Dragon Maul are dishonorable. Why should I join you? You are not wrong. The Anger Fang were long supporters of Necro, Skullcrutcher, and his son, and understand nothing but death and dishonor. I will say this. I intend to find a new place in Azeroth and this new horde for my people, and I intend to do it through our own strength alone, not through yet another enslaved people. If we Dragon Maul, Dragon Maul die before that happens, so be it. As I, I saw somebody on the internet talking about it and they said um, the uh, the uh, the other orcs, the allied race orcs <laughs> my brain is just not coming up with their name right now they should be allowed to choose a clan too because they're part of this you've come to learn the ways of the shattered hand, I can tell you but then I'd have to kill you just kidding Long ago, our clan dwelled in the spires of Iraq on Draenor. Our founders were comprised of a group of gladi gladiator slaves who escaped from the High Maul Ogres. The clan name comes from the tradition of cutting off one of your hands and replacing it with a weapon. That is no longer a requirement. 
These days we serve as Orgrimmar spies and assassins. We value ruthlessness, cutting, and the nerve to do what must be done to ensure peace for the rest of our people. We have watched our many deeds from the shadows, Okami, and we would welcome you into the fold with pleasure. What happened to Gordol? I thought he led the Shattered Hand. He has been usurped. It is our way that the strongest must lead. Don't worry, I didn't kill him. He is here at the Kosharg if you wish, wish to visit. Oh, no. <laughs> May your blades never dull. Well met. You wish to learn more about the Frost Wolves? The Frostwolf clan originally hailed from the Frostfire Roads in Draenor. On Azeroth, most of us now dwell in the Alterac Mountains. We are known for having lifelong wolf companions, being hardy warriors and hunters, and having a strong connection to the spirits of the Elmets and our ancestors. We value honor above all else and strive to do what is right. I am sure you are familiar with the story of my father, Duraton. He fought for the freedom of our people. If you would like to formally join the Frostwoods, we would be honored to have you. For Azeroth. Now, as a warlock, the, the Bleeding Hollow Clan might be a good fit, but the way I've been working on Kami, I think I just might have her be a Frostwolf. Okay. Let honor. Guide your path. Excellent. Come, let us return to Agra for your task. Although there is the op later, I always have the option to uh, choose another clan if I really wanted to. I should. Go I'm going to find. The spirit first. Ah, oh, that's a long way away. Okay. was stuck. Who, who comes before me? Ah, an orc who seeks our blessing. Aid me in healing this place and you shall have it. Hear me, young one. I am the spirit who protects this place, what your people call Thunder Ridge. A canyon below once teemed with life. It could once more with your intervention. Aid me now, and it will benefit my people and yours. Life can only thrive when a delicate balance is maintained. The arrival of your people and the humans was but the first link in the chain that led to desolation. You yourself are not to blame, but you can be the force that restores what once was. Dive into the waters below and recover the seeds buried in the silt. They are a memory of an ancient force that once grew in harmony with my people. Beware, the elements are not at peace here. Oh. The, oh, the boon. Okay. This one's different. <laughs> it's 
six. Oh, it's a little one. Oh, it's several little ones. Seven. You return. Success lifts your steps. Life still dwells inside the seeds, dormant, awaiting its chance. Plant them inside my remains and observe what power I still wield. Oh. I mean, seeds are like that, yeah. The ancient forest will return, and time. My kind will return, and time. By your hands, this has been set in motion. You have our gratitude, Okami. Go in peace. Ah, one no way? Okay. The bond with this land, as our ancestors did in Draenor. Ah, oh, is with me. Speak your mind. Go with honor. Mokra. May the spirits watch over you. You return. I trust you have aided the spirit of Thunder Ridge. A remnant of the ancient trees that once grew in Thunder Ridge. Perhaps they can grow here again. Go with honor. You have done well, Okami Singai. The spirits sing your praises on the wind. Eventually, Thunder Ridge will flourish into a new oasis. Benefiting the people of Orgrimmar and the Thunder Lizards alike, you have earned the blessing of the land. May the spirits watch over you. Go with honor. Your path has been chosen. Are you ready to proceed? May the spirits watch over you. Is your task complete? Go with honor. You have done it. Done well. It is a rare thing for the ancestors to cross over and manifest before an offering. Yours must have been truly worthy. I hope Durak appreciates the honor that was just bestowed upon him as well. When the Amgaraz finish, you should pass on the messages you received for the others. I think you would appreciate it. She offers you a quick wink. May the spirits watch over you. Well met. Argra and I have decided that the blessing of the clan will take inspiration from the Amragor. You will uh, track and kill a beast without your armor, and while acting as a champion of the Frost Wolves. But it can be, can't be just any beast, as it must be a worthy challenge. You will be sent on a hunt for an unknown monster that has been stalking the residents of the Valley of Trials. The peons have taken to calling it Korogrosh, the Long Knives. Seek out Kaltunk and investigate. Once the beast is slain, take, pro take a trophy as proof of the deed, and paint your face with its blood as proof for the Farseer. Good luck. Bring honor to yourself and the Frost Wolves. Together. Remember, you must bring back a trophy from your kill and paint your face with the blood of your prey. And you are forbidden from wearing armor until Gorecrush is slain. Go with honor. I like the outfit, though.
What do you need? Is that you, Okami Singai? Look at how much you've grown. But why are you here? Okay, because Okami came from the valley. I think if your character comes from the island, they have different dialogue. They've sent you to deal with Gorkrash. Thank the ancestors. For the horde. Gorkrash, the Long Knives, has been terrorizing the Valley of Trials for weeks. Orcs have been going missing, and many of our young trainees have been injured. The peons took to calling the mysterious attacker the Long Knives, because the few bodies we've found all have long, terrible gashes across their backs. They're terrified and refusing to work. We have no idea who or what Gorkrash really is, but they are clearly very dangerous. Please find this monster and end this madness. Straight. Okay, gotta ask everybody what is going on. I've been seeing some evidence of raptors nearby. Strange to see them this far from the barrens. Have you seen any evidence of Gorkrosh? Huh? I'm not even sure Gorkros exists. These peons get worked up over everything. May your blades never dull. <laughs> What can I help you with? Uh -huh. Hmm. It's Aretha Fargaze. Not another one. I keep can't keep losing peons like this. Long gashes from something like a blade, same as the others. Do you really think it's Gorkrosh that did this? I cannot say, but we must take this seriously. This is the third dead with the same runes. What can I help you? For the whole Okay, I thought she said something about oops, but I, I think that was just something with the cooking. Ah, oh, cactus apples. Galgor's cactus apple surprise. Please, I don't think I'm gonna make it. The la young orcs' last words were a request deliver these cactus apples to Galgar. Will you honor her request? Oh, goodness. Oh, I gotta actually pick up the bag. Okay. You have found a very large three-toed print left by an animal. Animal. It is surely from a raptor or something similar. This is very alarming evidence that Gorkrosh is real and nearby. Okay. Ah, don't hurt me. Please spare Mr. me, Mr. Gorkrosh. I'll be a good peon. Yes. Oh, no, 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 no. What happened here? Big monster jump out. Pell is ghost. Kill friend, then vanish. Please do not let it kill me. Huh. What have you found? You tell Katunk about the large three-toed print, Karanisha's mention of raptors, the peon witness account and the bodies with deep slashes. So you're telling me Gorkrosh is actually a huge white raptor? That's what it seems like. If Gorkrosh is truly a raptor, you should be able to track it down just like any other animal. See if you can find its trail. We know it's been around here recently. Corner it in a slayer and end this once and for all. Make sure you return to Razor Hill straight away once you make the kill. The Farseer will need proof of the deed. Thank you, Okami Singai. May the spirits guide your blade. Loktar. Oh, level up. Oh, hello, Okami. What do you have there? 
board a horde. Why are you delivering these? I asked. Oh no. Well, when it's supposed to die over these, I just asked all the young orcs to do this. It's supposed to be easy. Well, thanks for delivering them for her, I guess. Enjoy your reward. Ah. Oh. That was a <laughs> beginning. <laughs> that must have been a cat quest. Ah. Uh. Oh well. I delivered it too. Okay. Ah. Okay. I guess it's a raptor. It can jump high enough. A raptor nest. Gore crashes a mama. I felt bad leaving the eggs here. Eh. I have... Oh, I have it in two places. How do I do that? Here we go. Of course, that means I'm going to have the parasol stuck on me for the rest of this <laughs> quest line. Oh no, I can take it off. Speak your mind. Do you have the trophy? Have you painted your face with the blood of the kill? You will not receive the blessing till the deed is done. A massive talon. Go with honor. Agra inspects the blood on your face carefully. Satisfied what she sees, she nods. A clean kill. You have defended the young and the weak honorably. The spirits are pleased. You have earned the blessing of the clan. You may have your clothes back. <laughs> you have successfully completed the Amgara. Congratulations, Okami Singai. Now it is time for us to celebrate. We have prepared a feast for all in attendance in your honor. Go. Revel in the glory you have earned. Enjoy yourself. If any of these orcs get out of line, remind them why you were the one who was chosen to complete the new rite first. Go with honor. Our champion has completed the Amgora. Let us feast in their honor. Loktar!
Ha ha ha! I think I'll have a bit of everything. Oh, she's getting excited. Ribs! Oops. That's a jug of a different kind. Ah, oh, yeah, give me the coffee. <laughs> That's a different thing. <laughs> I don't like it when I can't see. Oh! Ariok made it out okay. I hope it was not a mistake that I came. I wanted to support my father's dream to restore the Karsharg, but everyone here is stirring. What happened to you? During our incursion into Nan Jungle to defeat the Iron Horde, I interrupted the Bling Hollow's blood magic ritual, stealing its power for myself. It granted me great strength, but at the cost of this hulking aberrant form, I have avoided contact with most of the Horde since. So far, my father and I have found no cure, but we have not yet tried to ask the Bleeding Hollow here for help. Shoran Deadeye is attending the Kashar, yes? I'm so glad you're still alive, big guy. Ah, oh, there's Mulverick, yes. Boss, oh yeah. Okay. My How do you want to do this, big guy? Kusharg has gone off without a hitch. I think these peons have earned a break. What do you say, Okami Singai? Are you ready for the peons to join the party? Bring it on! fun thrust in the heat in Duratar. I feel like I'm boiling alive. Let's see if anybody else I can talk to. I want to do the Omgara next. Oh man, Crick is there with Marka! Being here among friends, a real community gathering with Marka at my side. This feels good. For a long time, I didn't know if I would ever feel this good again. I'm glad he's feeling better. Reminds me a little too much of my grandpa. <laughs> what 
What do you ask of me? I am not surprised that you were successful in your Amgara. You are mighty and deserve the honor and glory you have earned. But I am surprised at how hopeful this event has made me feel. The spirits whisper of a renewal of our people. They mean to crack the shell of cynicism that has hardened that this hardened old children gladiator have built up over the years. This seems to be the start of a bright future for us. It is good to see Agarlon joining the ranks of the Fire Seers. She has more than proven herself. I look forward to seeing young Durak's growth as a shaman. He comes from powerful stock, that one. Raktar, oh, Kami. Thank you for the part you played in bringing the orcs together like this. What is it? Greetings to you, Netherlord. It is not often that we warlocks are invited to such a prestigious to such prestigious affairs. We are used to skulking in the shadows, never acknowledged for our efforts in keeping Azeroth and the Horde safe. I think we have you to thank for that change in we done? My family was from the Bleeding Hollow clan. I have many stories of their conquests in Kazmonon during the Second War. It is honor, an honor to finally meet the son of Kilrog and those of my clan who reigned in Draenor. An honor I owe to your efforts, Okami. Bruh. <laughs> this is my first time visiting Durotar and Orgrimmar. I should have come much sooner. What do you need? I appreciate that Deadeye wants to bring our clan back together, but I hope that doesn't mean he expects me to spend more time here. How do people look at this red ground all the time? It hurts my eyes. There's a reason I never volunteered for missions in Hellfire Peninsula. Go forth to victory. The Dragomaw have had many disagreements with Thrall in the ha past. I hope this Kasharg will do much to unite us again. Magar Oaks, that's what they're called. I do hope the Dragomaw clan can f can find a place, a true place within the Horde after all these years. There has been more than enough strife between the orcs. May it finally be done. Oh, I can't talk to him. I got it. Don't know why it does this. Oh. I cannot believe that Thrall would extend an olive branch, an olive branch to the Dragon Ball like this after a years in the Dark Horde and Warlord Zayla commanding of forces under Hellscreen. This must be some sort of trick. Never no. What do you need? I wish Duraz was here to see this. So many orcs from all over together. Though I wonder if he would have avoided his he would have avoided his former clan. The least I can do is inform them of his passing. In the spirit of fellowship among orcs, Artesh and I have been extended an invitation to join the Earthen Ring by the new Farseeker, Agarlon. So the Frostwolf of Outland says, but old prejudices are not so easily put down among the orcs of Azeroth. I will spend time scrying the outcomes before we decide. Despite our personal feelings, we must do as the spirits will. I ah. oh, can't talk to Artesh, but oh, Rexar! I hear the call of the wild. Rexar, you look strong. You have kept up with your training. Yes, you as well. <laughs> Come to check on us, Okami. While well, my father is aside, he is speaking to me. That is a start. Oh, uh, must pet all the animals. Now the animals let me pet them. Amazing. It is my hope that the Kasharg will allow Leorox and the 
Show Leah rocks that the isolation on the Mothal can finally end. The journey from Outland has ignited in me and a, a desire to explore. If that runt Rexar has seen all of Az Azeroth, so should I. Farewell. I was surprised when Thrall reached out with an invitation to the Kosherd. The Mont Nathal have never been included before. We were considered half-breeds by the old horde, lesser than true works. It is our isolation in Outland. I did not realize how much tr had truly changed. It may be time for an earnest discussion with my son. Oh, there's two of them. You are all call me Singai, the one who will complete the new rite today. Most of these orcs are too afraid to approach me. I am Rilka, the last Magar of the Dragon Moon Clan. The others keep their distance, not wishing to converse with one of Nurzul's fallen. I do not blame them, but I am not come to reclaim my clan's place at the Kashar or to refight old wars. I have come because I heard there are now some among the orcs who listen to the songs of life and shadow. The mysteries of the cosmos are ones that the Shadow Moon have mastered. If nothing else, I wish to share my dead clan's knowledge with the young where I can, and try to steer those who seek to use the darkness from disaster. Okay. Silly whelps. Oh, so few of us orcs have chosen the path of the mage. I'm glad to see Kashra flourishing. She was not, almost not given the chance, if only through Thrall's intervention, that the remaining Ark Weavers were not executed for treason after the siege of Orgrimmar. He saw potential and was able to wield the arcane, an area where the Alliance and the Kirin Tor have always been don dominant. He thought it was a ways to dispose of what could be a valuable resource. I will forever be grateful for his compassion and wisdom. I, like many other orcs, was disconnected from my clan when my parents were taken into the internment clans. Camps, uh, we, they were Frostwolf and named me for the venerable Mother Cashier. I know little else. I will use this opportunity to try and reconnect with my heritage. Shokia! It's good to see everyone, especially General Nasgrim. Where have you been? After Hellscream's death, I wished to be alone, so I wandered. I took mercenary contracts where I could. Plenty of work out there for someone good with a rifle. Even fill in with pirates for a time. But truthfully, I missed Orgrimmar. I missed the Horde. The Crush Ark seemed like a distant opportunity to return home. Where have you been all this time? Oh. Make the war It's all in good fun. I mean, they aren't setting out to kill you, but... Oh, come on, I want to finish talking to everybody! Do you regret siding with Garash? I... She pauses, lost in thought. Her face hardens. No, I don't. Do you know what it's like to believe in a cause so fully that you would die for it? 
only for the person who thought embodied that cause to be utterly defeated twice? I believed I was doing the right thing. The orcs deserved a better future, and Hellscream believed he was leading us to it. He was not simply using us for his own gains, but it came at the cost of the rest of the horde. She has no rebuke for that. She scowls. I and you are right. I did not know his glorious future required the sacrifice of every other race, including my friends. I did not know he would allow an old god to corrupt both the orcs and himself. But by then it was too late, and I was in too deep to be wrong. It doesn't matter. It's all over now. Zayla is dead. Hellscream is dead. General Nasgrim was dead. I don't expect for it to all just be forgotten and forgiven. I just want the horde back. The Kosharg is for all orcs to come together, and that includes me. And it does. And I never miss. It seems my brothers and sisters of the Warsong clan so acknowledge me as an orc of honor and skill. They do not hold it against me that I defended the war chief to my death, or that I am now this. What's left to my cold, unbeing heart is warmed. Perhaps I do not need to be so distant to the living. Or perhaps they're just being polite. We do what the living cannot. Oh, I am honored to be representing my clan at the first Kusharg of Azeroth. I only wish... I wish my sister were there, still here to see it. Mom car, she says, as she tries to beat my face in. We finally worked up the courage to talk to the land tresor. He said he has not spoken to anyone from our clan since the invasion of Azeroth. I feel like I could be sliced in half at any moment if I say the wrong thing to him. I am unworthy of being in his presence. Oh, he is here. These two say they are members of the Burning Blade, but they are loyal to Thrawn the New Horde. And they are not Blade Masters, but Warlocks. Hmm, perhaps I have spent too long with only the company of ogres, but I don't feel the need to cut them down. They may be the closest thing to Ken I have left. Corona! My knives are ready. I have never belonged to a clan. Being half-blooded used to mark you as an outclass as an outcast. She looks around Razor Hill, at the Montnathal, and Lantris are the blade. How times have changed. Perhaps I will take Thega up Let on her offer. Begin. Do not worry, the shattered hand will make sure our festivities aren't interrupted by any of the Alliance spies lurking just outside. Oh yes, they're out there. Even if we are at peace, we still keep eyes on each other. Keeps us both so honest. Guest. Ormok. Coplak. Gordol. Okaro. It's rare to see so many of the Shattered Hand together in one place. We are so often in the field. I hope this Kashar gathering occurs more than once a generation. Oh yeah, the Grim Axis. It's not at work party unless there's some brawls. That's certainly true. It is good to be among Frostwolves again. My station in Thromar has kept me away for too long. And Thros children are here. This is my first time meeting the younglings. I expect great things from those two. Now I do believe I've met everyone, but I'm going to run around just in case.
Uh. Oh. Hi, kiddos. There's magar uh, works in with the uh, the green ones too. Hmm. <gasps> Dorak and Ray. Ray uh, seems to have warmed up to you a little. She is still blushing, but looks at, up at you and smiles. Thank you for being nice to Dorak, Okami. You're really nice. Greetings. Hey, Okami. I I just want to say you did great with the Umbra. I was worried about my chance. At Ah, oh, one of the doggos is getting barky. What's he barking at? I just want to say you did great with the Umgara, and I was worried about my chances when it is my turn, but you've shown me that it t what it takes. I can't wait till I'm old enough to do this myself. Um, so, um, thank you for showing me the way. I hope I see you again. Ah, oh, my brother-in-law is here. That's why he's barking. Eitrick's faith in you was not Eitrick's faith in you was not misplaced. You have demonstrated to all what a successful Umgara should be. And it appears you have also made fans out of both of my children. They will surely wish to follow the path of the warlock after your performance. <laughs> Evidently, if someone plays a death knight, I was like, well. I And, my t and she says my children want to follow the path of the death I, I don't, I don't think you want that. <laughs> huh. Where do I go to finish? Finish this. Oh. There. Okay. Hey, big guy. You have done well, Kami. I have not seen the orc so hopeful about the future since we liberated the internment camps. Others are now lining up to cl complete the Angara themselves, but they are fools if they think they will go before me. I will be the second orc to complete it. In a few years, the Angarath will be old enough as well. He is very excited. Yep, there we go. Sarafang had a message Let for you. Sarfang. What was his message? <laughs> I am glad you did too, old friend. Bromka. Yes, I think it's time we draw this celebration to a close. There is such a thing as partying too hard. For Azeroth. The Koshark has been a great success, and no small part thanks to you, Okami Singai. All that is left is for Agra to perform the ceremony to bring the festival to an official close. I wish to speak to the crowd before we all disperse again, on some things long overdue and being said. Let honor guide your path. Thank you all for honoring us with your presence here. When our people came to Azeroth from Draenor, ours was not an easy road. And along the way, many of our ancient traditions were lost. But the time has come to remember the rites of old and to build new traditions that honor our proud legacy. This champion is the first to complete the new rite of Amgora. Let their footsteps be followed for generations to come. Loktar. Loktar. And so, we bring the first Kosharg of oh. Azeroth to an end. May the honored ancestors watch over us all until next we meet.
It warms my heart for so many of us to be together again and not to march off to war. Sarfang had a message for you. Only in death would he admit it. Oh, I miss him. Don't we all? Hell, friend. A new age has dawned for our people, Okami Singai. I could never have imagined bringing you in on my old fool's crusade would have led to this moment. We had this armor specially made just for you. You have more than earned it. Hail, Okamsen Guy, champion of the orcs. Keep your weapons sharp. Mm. All right, let's see. Okay, it looks like we've got three versions of it. Um, one in all brown. One in blue and light brown. And one in red and brown. Hmm. Medium brown? Okay. Let me find a good staff to fit with this. Okay. So here's here's Okami in in the red armor. I think yeah, the stuff I I chose, that's as close as I'm going to get it. That's pretty neat. There's like a, a crest on the helmet and everything. That's that's pretty awesome. So that is the Orcus Heritage gear. So I guess we're done here. So uh, thank you all for watching and this is Brushfire Wind Dragon signing off.